You know, one of the things that's fun to do on a motorcycle is to go camping, and I've done that several times. So not long ago, I found a new place to fish, which got me thinking, why not motorcycle fishing? So I had to wait until we got a day down here in South Texas that was cool enough. Well, that first cool day of the year has finally arrived. It's only supposed to get up to 88, so I thought today might be the day. I've got the Kawasaki Vulcan S all loaded up and ready to go. Let me show you what all I'm taking with me. So first I've got my tackle box, not really too much stuff, just a few lures and hooks. I'm also going to take some worms with me today. I've got a camp chair to sit in, I've got a hat, I've got some gloves in there. Now let's go check out the other side. Got some GoPro stuff, got something to eat for lunch here. I got uh, about uh, half a gallon of drinking water in frozen bottles there. And I've got a towel. So let's get on the road and do some fishing. God, I love trains. I guess he's getting the last laugh. <laughs> so a little bit more about this place we're going fishing today. It's actually a small lake, about 90 something acres, and it sits on a piece of property that a friend of mine bought about a year ago. And he doesn't really fish. He hasn't fished it since he got it. And he doesn't think it's been fished for several years before he bought the place. So I do know that there were some decent bass on it years ago, but really no telling what's on it now. And I thought it would be fun. I'm a big fan of trying to catch big fish with light tackle. So I've got a brand new Zebco 33 rod with 10 pound test. And it's a telescopic rod, so it'll fit in my hard case on the motorcycle. Didn't want to six-foot antenna flopping around in the breeze as I go there and I thought if there's any rod that's perfect to test out a new place that you hope has some lunker bass it's got to be a Zepco 33 and if we catch anything it's going to be by the grace of God well you can tell it's Sunday nothing's open today is a perfect day to go fishing we had a front come through and we've had thunderstorms the last couple days and so today hopefully the fish will be biting hey, just look how pretty this place is you can see the motorcycle up there i heard a bunch of donkeys braying when i came in so really no telling what we're going to find out here today but it's a gorgeous place and I'm wondering what's swimming beneath those waters. So after I stopped, I drove around a bit, and of all the places I saw that looked like they were fishable, I thought that this area here was probably the best. We got a rocky shore. We've got some structure out there, if you can see those uh, tree stumps sticking up. And it looks like it drops off fairly quickly. So it looks like this could be a good place for fish. So I decided to set up in the shade here, and even though it's not super hot today, it's warm and the humidity is just through the roof because it rained the last couple of days. So not really the most comfortable of days. Great to ride, but really not so much for just sitting around in the sun. So let me show you what all I brought here today. First, I got some uh, Canadian night crawlers. If lures don't work, these will probably fit the bill. Got a little digital scale here so you can debunk all the lies when I tell you every fish that I caught weighed 12 pounds. Here is tackle box, and you really have to pack light when you're gonna be going fishing on a motorcycle, but I've got a couple of different size frogs that I'm gonna try today. And while well, you can see what happens when you uh, bring your tackle box on a motorcycle, I've got some topwater jigs, some poppers, some spinner baits, a couple of jigs, a couple more frogs, and various hardware and split shots. Also got a pair of fishing gloves, you gotta have those. And for retrieving the old hooks, got one of these. Everything's gonna be catch and release today, so I'm gonna treat this fish as humanely as possible. All right, so first cast today, we got the Zebco 33. We got 10 pound test. We're gonna go with the topwater frog. Let's see how hungry these bass are or what we have out here. First time ever using this rod. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh! Well, first cast and we got a fish. Well, no, we don't got a fish. He's got a $7 lure. Damn! All right, we're gonna give it a second go. I've got the uh, Topwater Frog's twin brother on now. Uh, I've beefed up the knot a little bit. There's really not much I can do about the 10 pound test line. Second cast. Yeah. 
Let's see if we have any luck. Can we go two for two, kind of? 20 minutes later. Try to fish just along these weed, this weed line here. See if we can't and tie something out of the weeds there to bite this guy. Hup! Oh! Had something jump at it there. Oh, there's a monster right down there. He came out from... And you hear the donkeys? Going to town. Lord knows what those donkeys are doing. Come on, big boy. Show that frog who's boss. Another day in paradise. Oh, is that something? Come on, big daddy bass. Oh, no. Thought I had something. Bunch of weeds. Bunch of weeds is right. Come on, baby. It's not exactly enjoyable. Are you hungry for a big fat frog? Damn fish are probably all vegan. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Big, fat, juicy frog coming your way. One of those delicious Walmart frogs. Prove to me you're not vegan. Come on. Come to Papa, before Papa roasts in the sun. Nice. I think I'm up to medium rare. Damn choosy fish. Come on, your big brother ate one of these things. Did you see that? That fish is right down there in the weeds. Right down there, it gives me a renewed sense of hope. A few moments later, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. I think we got one now. Talk to me, little Zepko. Oh, he's nice. He's nice. This is a nice fish. Oh, yeah. This is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. This is Big Daddy Bruiser Bass. Let's see how, let's see this guy here. Let's get him up on the bank. Look at this, Zapco 33. Oh, and he took this sucker. There you go. Ten pound test, Walmart frog. Let's see what this guy weighs. Four pounds. Nice fish. And there you go. The old backflip. Okay, that was Papa. Now we're gonna go for Grandpa. Now, so far, all three of the strikes that I've gotten have been right next to structure on the edge of weed lines. So the bass are hiding right on the edge of open water in the weed line. Nothing will make your blood boil like catching a four pound bass. Now I want a five pounder. Surprisingly, if you set the drag just right, this little Zipco 33 does a real good job. Holy moly! Oh, Jesus! Holy Toledo! Oh man! That's another bruiser! Yeah, see that? Woo! He doesn't look quite as big as the last one, but. He's nice. 
Uh, uh, another big one. Not as big as the, the last one. He may go three and a half pounds, maybe. All right. I say all right a lot, don't I? Oh, he's just a baby. Three pounds, six ounces. A little bit long, a little bit thin, like they could be eating a bit more. So we got daddy, we got the uncle. Now we're still looking to catch grandpa. Wanna get a five pounder or better today, if we can. So everything so far, both fish and strikes, I've gotten within 20 feet of the bank or so. So as opposed to casting real far out there, I'm just gonna just gonna try to limit to myself to 30 to 40 feet. Dang it! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on, fish. All right. Can you guys see that? Let's get right down there. Yeah. Who do we have here? Another little brother. You're not supposed to be jumping on the line. Mr. Small Fry, we're going for granddaddy. Not a bad fish. I'm gonna say he's close to three pounds. Two pounds. 11 ounces. All right, back to the scene of the crime. This is where the first cast was, where I lost that other frog. First cast of the day. I think Gramps might have learned his lesson. He didn't get to be Grandpa by being stupid. But just in case he's got dementia, we'll keep trying. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Come on. Right along that grass line there. Oh! Oh yeah! That's him, I think. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Come on, Zebco 33, don't let me down. Oh, oh, he threw the hook. So what better for a Zebco 33 rod and reel than a hook and a worm? I've got some Eagle Claw size four hooks here. Got a little stiletto bobber. We're rigged about, oh, two, two and a half feet deep. We're just going to park that worm out there and see what happens. And meanwhile, while those fish are deciding on whether or not to hit that worm, I'm going to bake here in the Texas sun, and it sure as hell feels a lot hotter than 86 out here. It feels more like 106. Come on, big boy. You could use a big, fat worm. Come and get it. All you can eat, free. Well, not all you can eat. All I got is 18 night crawlers. But you can have 17 of them, all that's left if you want. Oh, we got something nibbling at it. Man, I'm roasting like a chicken out here. Oh, damn it. That would give it a little twitch. I think something real small might be nibbling on that. Could be my old eyes or my older imagination. Give it another twitch there. Jeez. Here, fishy, fishy. Tell you, I know there's fish in here. I don't think anything's hungry. I knew I should have checked out the farmer's almanac. Oh, what was that? Oh, we got something. Something's messing with it down there. Ugh. Oh, 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 got a fish. Oh, it's a little one. What do we have? Little bluegill, it looks like. There we go. Just a little baby. Come here, little fish. Well, now we're going to give this dock a try for two reasons. First, I need to be in the shade. 
And secondly, this thing provides a lot of structure and I think the fish are gonna be hanging out in the shade too. All right, oh, there you go. Did, oh no, dang it, almost. Tell you, only thing I don't like about these little reels and rods is it's tougher to set a hook. Of course, I'm not any great fisherman, that's for darn sure. Holy cannoli! Son of a... It's a... fish hangs out. I think I'm going to give that spot a rest for a couple minutes and come back. That was a good fish. All right, let's go back and see if we can find this guy. Third time's a charm. was a lot of fun my first ever time out to go motorcycle fishing but I think all in all it was pretty successful I never did get a fish from that dock but I got three really hard strikes two of them looked like it could have been from the same fish one of them I didn't get on camera and I think one was uh, partly out of frame I did land three nice bass and I probably had uh, five or six others get away that struck awful hard. With the exception of the one or the very first cast and losing that lure, the 10 pound test line I think uh, definitely snapped. Um, could have been the drag was set a little bit heavy. So it could have been my fault, could have been the rod's fault. But all in all that Zebco really did a good job, surprisingly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Trip on Two Wheels. Do me a big favor. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. And if you'd like to become a supporter of the channel, I would really appreciate that. You can go check out my, my Patreon page. Any little bit helps and I'd really appreciate it. So until next time, this is Trip on Two Wheels saying, ride safe and fish often.